So we'll be taking a look and see what is the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Virgo, the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. Well, we got this Nine of Pentacles. And it's with the Four of Wands. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is, is actually a really good card in the tarot. It means that um, your worries, they're over for a while. And that the relationship could have taken off to the next level. Um, maybe new heights of intimacy and joy. And it's with this Four of Wands. So this Four of Wands, 11-11, this is the Marriage and Commitment card in the Tarot. So, things were looking really good between you and your person in the recent past. Yeah, two really good cards. What I'm picking up on is that, um, yeah, um, Virgo, you worked your term on, on this person. And the relationship just, it took a turn for the better if it wasn't good already. With the Nine of Pentacles, it started to become a really good relationship. Um, or it could have been that you wanted a relationship with your person and they wanted one with you too. And it felt like the connection could um, lead to marriage, long-term commitment. Um, yeah, that's what you get with this Four of Wands. That's a marriage and commitment card. So things are getting really serious with your person because these are two, like I said, two great cards in the tarot. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got the Empress and it's with the Eight of Pentacles. Now, this Empress is actually a card about coming abundance. And the Eight of Pentacles is about working really, really hard. As you can see in the picture, it's the card that's below the word present. That's the Eight of Pentacles. So coming up, um, you could start to feel more love for your person. Yeah, more love. You could start to feel that way because the Empress can be about deep love. Um, it can be about the connection becoming sweeter, deeper, more truer. Um, it is a time that um, uh, the Empress would find people drawn to her or him. And um, um, people are drawn to the Empress and very attracted to the Empress. So you could find yourself feeling more into your person. You know, you're just like hmm, looking at them in a, maybe in a, in a brighter light or you're just starting to see them. Um, you're starting to feel them more. Uh, you could be just starting to feel more drawn to them, more attracted to them. And your person is inspiring, inspiring you to work really hard on this connection. You're starting to feel more motivated to do things to make this connection work. Because the Eight of Pentacles goes really hard. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles has a lot of passion, motivation, and, and inspire. And is inspired. And this is how your person's making you feel. Yeah, you're starting to see more of their beauty. And if it's not outer beauty, Maybe it's their inner beauty. Yeah, and it's making you go really hard. Because the Eight of Pentacles, yeah, non-stop work. Eight of Pentacles is um, mastering their craft or enjoying their employment. But this is a love reading, so this is how you're feeling towards your person. 
Yeah, and it's growing. The connection is, is still growing, so this is good. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Lovers, and it's with the Ten of Cups. Now, the Lovers card can be... Um, actually, it's a good card in the, in the deck. It's associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the Twins. So, once again, you can start to feel really ambivalent about this connection. Really ambivalent. Not to mention that the lovers... The lovers could be um, a strong soulmate. Yeah, you could be dealing with a strong soulmate. And for some of you, this is a twin flame. If you believe in that theory... And your person is starting to see you, Virgo, as this Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is another good card. you got really good cards in your reading so far. The person is starting to see that they could have it all with you. You're their, you're their end-all, be-all. And they know or feel that you're a strong soulmate or their twin flame. Yeah. So things are looking really good for you and your person. I don't know if it's because we got this romantic holiday coming up, but yeah, some good cards fell out the deck for you after I shuffled. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got this Four of Pentacles, and we got Justice. Now, Justice actually deals with the ideal of karma. And the law of cause and effect. And that's a card below the word outcome. Justice also can bring clarity and truth. Now, this Four of Pentacles is actually... Can be about holding on to things, people, money, or situations longer than is healthy or realistic. So, what this is telling me, Virgo is that um, the outcome is indicating that there could be something that is brought to light. Yeah, maybe you found out something, or maybe a person is finding out something. Something is being found out. Yeah, and it's bringing um, truth, and it's bringing inner clarity to the connection or to a situation. Yeah, this could be you or your person. For a lot of you Virgos, you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or, or an Aquarius with this Justice card here. Yeah, you could be finding out something, or your person is finding out something. And it's bringing things to light. You're finally maybe realizing something, and it's making you two hold on to each other. Even more. Because the connection is already... It's already good and, and it's feeling strong coming up for the rest of this week. Yeah, because you got great cards here. I don't know what you're finding out though. You're getting some truth and light and it's just making you two even tighter. Even closer, because if you look at the Four of Pentacles, this man, he's sitting on his pinnacles, and he's got one, he's squeezing one underneath his arm, and he's holding one in both of his hands, really tight. So, I don't know, maybe the Empress, I'm looking at this Empress, the Empress can be, um, like I said, about coming abundance. Um, it can be about um, I don't know. Maybe she's pregnant. I don't know if you guys want to hear hear that. But it can be a potent time. It looks like she's holding her stomach there. That's why I said that. Hope I didn't scare some of you. But, yeah, 
Yeah, she's holding her stomach to Zimbers, the card above the word pre present. It's about coming abundance, so it could have, justice could have something to do with this. Yeah, you do get some inner clarity, some light. Maybe a person is expecting, and it's just bringing you two closer together even more. You two are holding on really tight to each other. Yeah, I don't get that it's in an unhealthy way. Even though the Four of Pentacles can be in an unhealthy way. But I don't think it's, it's not in this reading, unhealthy. It's just holding on really tight and making you two be even more closer. So yeah. Your person sees you as the end-all, be-all. This is a soulmate you're dealing with. A strong soulmate. And it looks like you're willing to work really hard on this connection just to make it work. You're very attracted to this person. Yeah, so, Virgo, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Virgo, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take it care. Come back and join me for the next Virgo reading. Just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, you have to keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or even a situation. And yes, the roles can be switched. You could be your person, or your person could be you. Yeah, so just take the reading for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Virgo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.